this video we will learn how much cubes unity can handle so as you can see i have one cube with uh, a rigid body component attached to it so let's start with five cubes adding 10 cube it is start looking smoothing a little bit and after adding 50 cubes it is now collapsing let's try with 100 cubes and it is working quite nicely This time I'm trying with 500 cubes and it is still running very smoothly as you can see. Next is 1000 cubes. It is still there is still no impact on the simulation speed we going a little higher let's see this time with 5000 cubes and it now it start to slowing down a bit as you can see in this video So I am adjusting my fixed timestamps to 0.05 and as you can see after adjusting the speed 0.05 it is running smoothly again. Let's move on with 10,000 cubes and now it's again running getting slow i'm again adjusting my time span time span to 0.1 and see how this works and after adjusting the timestamp now it's running again very not very smooth but a little acceptable Next move on with uh, more cubes This time with 25,000 cubes As you can see still it's simulating Although it's getting very slow but It is getting slow in the end I again adjusting my time span to 0.5 uh, but this time you see after increasing too much time span you will not see proper simulation so I am again adjusting this to 0.1 so this time I'm testing with 50,000 cubes I also increased the speed to 4x because it was very slow so as you can see at the speed of 4x is still very I am duplicating my cubes again now there are 100,000 cubes in the scene as you can see with 100,000 cubes it's handling properly I can rotate around and see 
everything. If you can see in the states, there are 3.1 million triangles and 6.3 million vertices. Let's see how this works. So as you can see at the speed of 12x it is still very slow but unity, unity didn't crash it uh, quite nicely simulated all the 100,000 cubes. So that's much for this video I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video.